All right, Jackson. Let's do the show, Biz Beat. Let's do it, buddy. Okay, quick hit. We mentioned it earlier this week uh, that Amazon announced that they are doing Prime Day. Yeah. And it's going to be a lot later than July, obviously. Um, but they didn't announce the date. They have officially stated October 13th and 14th will be their annual Dude. Prime Day celebrations. Get ready. Is this their way of getting a jump on the Christmas sales? Absolutely. Yeah. Is that what it is? 100%. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Well, I'm sure they just want people to start doing their Christmas shopping now because they're going to get so overloaded oh, around Christmas time. It's true. They got to start getting the shipments out now. Sure. Because otherwise, they just they won't be able to get them all out for Christmas. Yeah. No one's going to be able to go to the mall or go to the regular yeah. store. Yeah. Or at That's least true. they're not going to want to. Well, look how long it's starting to take to get some packages. Yeah. So. Yeah, they prioritize everything. So yeah. if something's not a number one priority... Yeah, good luck wait. getting it. I don't know, days. man. Have you had the same day yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's uh, I'm, exciting. Like, like, there are uh, a lot uh, of uh, essentials that they'll deliver same day or next day, but if you get something that's not an essential thing, then it's a low priority. And if they have the time, great. They'll get it to you when, when they're supposed to, but otherwise, <laughs> tough wait cookies. a few days. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know, fair. Yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are they supposed to do? Everything's weird right now. Yep. So it is what it is. All right. Robert Pattinson. Uh, Mm -hmm. He was an interesting choice for the Batman. Everyone raised their eyebrows at it. And this might give you a little more hesitation about the movie. Cedric Diggory. He's He's, not Batman. He says that he doesn't really care if he ruins Batman. Oh, come on. It's more, he said, because basically they asked him, they're like, this is such big pressure. And I know you've done franchise movies before, but this is like the franchise movie. Yeah. And, And they were like, is that too much for you or... And he just said, pretty much, that he's felt this way before. Quote, I weirdly enjoyed it during Twilight, the idea that you could mess the whole thing up. I guess I felt confident that, like, yeah, people are kind of expecting me to mess up. So if I mess up, it's not a big deal. So, no, so actually, he's saying, I've been there, done that. So yeah. He's like, everyone wants me to be not terrified, but I've done I've this twice down. already. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah. Look, I'm not... Excited about him as the Batman. I'm so excited for him as the Batman. Although the trailer did look good. The trailer looks so it good. Yeah. The it's emo Batman. That's fine. Batman is emo. <laughs> Batman's so broody. He's always just pouting. He's like, oh, my parents died a hundred years ago. I should beat someone up about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you want someone pouty, Robert Pattinson's perfect for it. Okay. All right. Uh, last night, Carol Baskin was eliminated on Dancing with the Stars. Shocker. So it came down. She got voted bottom two the first two weeks on the show. Last week, she got saved by the judges. This week, she was in the bottom two with Anne Heche, and they decided to, the judges decided to save Anne Heche instead of Carol Baskin. Dude, Bruno Mars was... Uh, not Bruno Mars. Um, Bruno, the judge, yeah. was harsh. Do you want to hear something? Yeah. Like oh, no. If you were dancing with a Brooklyn Bridge, you could get more bounce. You just walk through it. You know, Samba needs life bounce and energy. You can't just sleep, walk through a samba. I'm sorry, my love. Carrie Ann Inaba. Five. Derek Huff. Four. Bruno Tonyo. Oh dear, get ready. Three. Ah. But I have to say Anne and Kia. Carol is going to be going home. How are you feeling right now, Carol? My husband is going to be so happy I'm coming home. Yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... I mean, she seemed like she was cool with it. She really ran with it, but... She wasn't great. That was awfully she harsh. zero rhythm. Yeah, like, she wasn't great. Nothing. Nothing about her says, hey, I, I can I, I'll be real with you. I haven't watched the performances, but I can't imagine he has, she has any less rhythm than Anne Heche. Uh, I wouldn't picture Anne Heche as a particularly rhythmic individual. She is very... Awkward looking up on that stage I'm when she's sure. dancing. Wow. Yeah. That's the whole point of Dancing with the Stars. Yes. We want them to look weird. It, That's what we watch for. Success, my friend. Exactly. Celebrities, they're just like us. Uh, and finally, uh, BTS, the biggest, I mean, I keep saying the biggest K-pop group in the world. They might just be the biggest group yeah. in the world at this point. They're huge. They're mm-hmm. everywhere. Um, and their record label, Big Hits, uh, just went public. So get this. About a month ago... The record boss, the the big guy over there, gave each one of the BTS members like 65,000 shares in the company to, to continue their contract. And after they went public, each one of those boys made $8 million off those shares. In one day, they all made $8 mil- They made $8 million each. That's how big this went, that, that public launch. Can I tell you? 
I feel like they should be <laughs> worth more money. I oh, was that's, thinking the same but thing. That's, that's just jump sh- change to them. But that's just the shares, though. That's I, just the shares off of the... That's just one day. has nothing to do with how much they're making off their music, yeah, actually. Yeah, but that's chump change like, to Bezos. I would like to uh, make that kind of money in a day. I, I yeah, know. In one day, having done nothing yeah. extra... Like that's that's that's, crazy. that's a big fat paycheck. I wonder what they make because you always hear the K-pop contracts really bad. Oh, they're really bad. They don't. They are not very. So good like, to their I people, wonder if they? this eight million is like for them. It might be a big. Deal. That's yeah. the payday. Or I mean, BTS I think might be the exception to that yeah. because now they can now they actually can start demanding things. But you gotta be the biggest group in the world in order to do <laughs> right. that in K-pop. That's it. You know what I mean? Um, the label boss became a billionaire overnight. Ah. So that's, okay. that's the level. But remember, Billion. there Dude. are probably like 14 people in BTS because they have like different A team and B team and all these different members. So 7.9 million Not is bad. still a lot. Um, their new album B is dropping November 20th. I already have friends who have pre-ordered it. Really, and are really excited about it. This is their follow-up to one they released earlier is this, this year. Is this going to be an English album, or uh, I'm sure there will be English songs, but I don't know if it'll be entirely in English. Well, Dynamite is. Dynamite is. Yeah, yeah. Dynamite, which we play on mix. Which my husband's so like, good. who are these chicks? <laughs> <laughs> my Tom, bless you. Very cultured, Tom. Uh, well done. Uh, All right, that's your show.